Hi everyone and welcome to another training video brought to you by Corec Group. In today's video we focus on Trimble Connect. Firstly we'll look at Trimble Connect itself, the login procedure and creating a new project and then uploading some data. And then we'll look at Trimble Access, again how to log into your Trimble Connect account and then the process of downloading and uploading your data. For other similar videos to this, check out our YouTube page, Correct Training and Support, and check out our website, www.correctgroup.com. Okay, so this is the Trimble Connect homepage, connect.trimble.com. So we click on the sign in, the top right there. And that should bring us into the login page. So I log into my own account here. If you're creating this account for the very first time, you just click on the create an account option and follow the prompts, fill in your information. I have an account already set up, so I pop in my username, my password, sign in. And this brings us to the, to the home screen or the main dashboard in Trimble Connect. So in Trimble Connect, you have a series of different projects or folders essentially where you you have your job file stored or any files that you need to link to a project stored um, you can view that in a tile format like like you see here or you can click on this one to give you a list format so if you've done this for the very first time um, you can see I've I, I've multiple projects here but you may not have any projects initially so you need to go in and create a new project for yourself so if I go in and create a new project and I'll just call it Corec 2021 you can upload a little image here for the, the project header um, select your location and uh, the project ownership is correct there so I'll submit that okay so you can see there at the very top of the screen um, I'm within that new correct folder or new correct 2021 project if you drop that down you can select or jump into any of the other existing projects that are created in Trimble Connect or you can also click on the Trimble Connect home button and that will bring you back to the initial page there where you have your list of projects or in the, the dashboard format okay so the next step is to open up Trimble Access on your controller whatever controller you have so I open up Trimble Access. The first page we're greeted with is the projects page. So initially we need to log into our Trimble Connect account here to be able to access the project that we just created in Trimble Connect. And to do that, you hit this little icon here, sign in. I'm gonna pop in the same details here. so you can see I'm signed in I've got a instead of a little grey login icon I have a little yellow icon here in the kit and I'm, I'm logged into my Trimble Access account and now you can see along with the initial initial project I had SB key I also can see all the different projects that are that were visible on my Trimble Connect account and there's the Corec 2021 project that we've just created you can see all these are grayed out at the moment so you actually need to go in and download the, the project first so that's your first step so you click on the project name and then you click on download down here click on yes to this so you've opened the project on Trimble Access now you just need to create a new job file so create a new job file here I'm just gonna call it correct test okay so a job file is created as a quick check you can hit on the hamburger icon or the Trimble access icon in the top left and you can see there's your project you're currently in correct 2021 and here's my job file here correct test you can also further check you go into job data file explorer and you can see there in your Trimble data folder within the projects you have a new folder there called correct 2021 and there's your 
task scheduler file which represents the, the raw job file. So we don't have any linked files right in here. So say for example, I wanted to um, wanted to link a couple of files to this particular job and I had them within Trimble Connect. Um, so the first step here is to go into your job file. And you can see here my correct test job, the status is a new job, we've just created a new job. Once you're actually carrying out a survey or doing a bit of setting out, it changes to in progress. I select in progress it will sync it automatically to the cloud so you can see now I have a little clock icon next to the job name or if you're completed with the job you can select fieldwork complete and you'll get a little green tick next to the, the job file name so if I go back now to Trimble Connect and see if my job file appears for me so I'm back in Trimble Connect here you can see at the very top of the page again in connect and within my correct 2021 project folder so to see if that job has synced correctly I can go into my to-do and there you can see my correct test job file um, if you want to download that file down the bottom right here you can click on the, the three dots download um, but in my case here I need to attach a couple of files for for setting out so I have three files that I need to to attach here I have a CSV file with my control points I have a DXF file for my setting out and I also have a TTM surface file for um, for a bit of setting out too so to attach those files what you need to do is hit on the little plus icon there at the bottom right and I'm going to browse to the files on my laptop here so I'm going to select the third icon you can drag or drop or browse to them so I'm going to browse to them um, find them here on my desktop and there's my three files that I need to upload to Trimble Access. So I'm going to select all three, open and add attachments. Once the attachments have been uploaded, as a check you can see down the bottom right here I have my DXF, my CSV and my TTM along with my job file. So this should be uploaded. Um, I just need to download them now in Trimble Access. So if I jump back into Trimble Access need to go back into our job file so correct test status in progress it's fine and now the three dots up the top right I'm going to click download now you can see my treatment plant DXF, CSV and TTM are all visible there for download so click download on that okay open up my job file so the easiest way now in the, the latest version of Trimble Access to access these is through the layer manager and the layer manager is the little icon down the, the bottom left of the toolbar here on the, alongside the map screen. So if we click on my layer manager into point files. So point files is, um, is where we detach any job files or text files like our CSV in this example. So you can see there there's my treatment plants control points. A little checkbox in that, accept, zoom extents. Okay, so there's my six control points. Now if I wanted to link in my DXF file or my CAD file, it's under the map files tab. So same as uh, the previous version of Access, so one tick will make the drawing visible um, as a background map, but if I need to go setting out or se uh, selecting lines or points from the drawing, you need to give it a second tick and wait for your dash box around the tick here accept that so see now I have my my CAD drawn with my control points and if you wanted to link then as well your your third file your TTM file you select your layer manager again and you can also see under the the same tab the map files I have a TTM my surface file and this works the same as the TTM if I tick it once it's visible but not active um, if I take it again I get the little dash box around the tick so when I'm actually out on site there with my GPS or total station and I'm standing within the boundary of the surface you'll get your cut and fill to that surface in the bottom right hand corner of the map screen here